heard that title, and I know that the only reason you clicked on this video is because you saw that title, and you were like, oh, hell no. I know McGregor didn't just say that Anthony Joshua is going to lose to no Carlos Tankum. I know he didn't just say that. All right? You know me, guys. I like trolling my subscribers. I have a sense of humor. You know, I like trolling my subscribers. But on the real, I we have to be realistic. You know, when it comes to boxing, Anthony Joshua was not preparing himself for someone like... Carlos Tackham. He spent the past few weeks preparing himself for someone like Kurat Pulev. Kurat Pulev is a six foot four, six foot five fighter. He fights nothing like uh, Carlos Tackham. Carlos Tackham is a short heavyweight. He's a six foot two uh, heavyweight. So he's a short dude. Uh, he 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 has two different styles. He's one of them dudes. He could either come forward or he could either go backwards. Uh, when he, when he fights, like, when he fought, like, John, um, oh, when he fought Joseph Parker, he was coming forward because Joseph Parker was the boxer, so he was coming forward. But when he fought Alexander Povetkin, he fought the boxer fight. He was basically, he fought the counterpuncher dude. He let Povetkin come forward against him, and he was, I thought he was really, I thought it was a who's who's fight. I thought it was a very competitive fight. But what happened was... Tackham got really tired, and when he got tired, he became stationary. And the minute he became stationary, that's when AJ just took advantage of him and just beat him up. Uh, so, to me, what's interesting about this fight is AJ didn't prepare himself for Carlos Tackham. Carlos Tackham, in my opinion, has a better chin than Karat Pulev. Karat Pulev, some people might say he has a better style. You guys already know my stance when it comes to Karat Pulev. I've always felt he was a tad overrated. One thing I will say for sure, Carlos Tackham is definitely a bigger puncher than Karet Pulev. Karet Pulev can't bust a grape. He's a very, he's not a puncher at all. Karet Pulev, you, you might say, has better skills. Uh, but like I said, I think mentally, and I think mentally, Karet Pulev is not mentally as strong as someone like uh, Carlos Tackham because leading up to this fight, Pulev was acting like he didn't want to fight the. Anthony Joshua, he was acting like he, he wasn't ready. He was acting like he even said he was afraid of Anthony Joshua. So, that's not a good look and that's not a good sign. Carlos Tackham, though, I think he's mentally stronger. And I also think he has a better chin. I've always been saying this since day one, literally since May, literally for like five, six months, that AJ would just destroy Kurat Pulev in the five rounds. I do believe that Carlos Tackham will last longer than AJ. I mean, that uh, Kurat Pulev, uh, he'll last like... I would say, I made a prediction and I said seven rounds. I'm going to stick to that. But you have to remember, this is a massive opportunity for uh, Carlos Tech. You know, people are just looking at AJ and looking at his, uh, you know, skill sets. And they're just completely erasing Carlos Tackham's chances like he ain't shit. But Tackham is a decent heavyweight. Is he an elite? Hell no. But he is a decent heavyweight and he's ambitious, I would imagine. He's getting paid a lot of money, and this is his big chance, you know? Uh, it's kind of like with the Robert Hellenius situation. A lot of people are just sleeping on Hellenius. They're just, a lot of people are just like, immediate, you know, they're just like, there's no there's no question that Robert Hellenius will lose every single round against Dillian White, and uh, I don't I don't feel that way. I don't think that's the case. I think he's going to... Uh, I think he's going to... Lose, but I think he's gonna give a good account of himself. I think he's better than people think he is, and I think Dillian White's a little bit more, a little bit overrated compared to someone like Tech. I mean, like, uh, yeah, I think Dillian White's a little overrated. Again, I'm not saying he's a bum, but I think he's a little overrated. You guys know how I feel with Dillian White. I've always, I'm an honest guy. I've always kept it the way I, I've always spoke the way I feel about Dillian White. Uh, and yeah. It's just my just a little video letting you guys know what I feel about this whole Carlos Tackham versus Anthony Joshua. Just some food for thought. There's a big opportunity for Carlos Tackham. He's not no bum. He's not on the level of Klitschko, but he's definitely better than people. I mean, if people went around thinking that Dillian White could be AJ, and if AJ and Dillian White was able to catch uh, someone like uh, you know. Anthony Joshua, and then why couldn't Carlos Tackham do the same thing? Why couldn't he have the same success, you know? So, yeah, um, I definitely pick AJ. I definitely think he's going to win. But, 
you know, this is heavyweight boxing, and one punch causes everything. And again, Carlos Tankham is no Mike Tyson puncher, but he's definitely no slouch. He's definitely hits harder than someone like uh, Karev Pulev. That's for damn sure. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting carried away with like looking at the concentrating on the video games. That's why sometimes I'd be like getting quiet because I'm like, as I'm making the video, as I'm recording it, I'm actually like looking at the fucking footage and I'm like trying to actually win. Look, cause there's only me and this guy left. The other two assholes are dead. So, oh, oh no. Oh, I did it. Yay. All right, guys. That's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like the video. Please thumb the videos up. And that's it. My girl goes out. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.